Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, to an absolutely perfect winter's afternoon. This is the rugby that, this is the weather that was designed this. Mother Nature has her best frock on today. As usual, my name is Dave Webb. I'm joined in commentary by the one and only Pete Cross. You've made yourself a part of the furniture for the old cold games now. I think I have. I actually put in the, the request each time I get nervous <laughs> I, I coming know. into the week. Well, I don't say Do anything. I, I, know, I don't say know, anything because I just assume that, you know... <laughs> You, you wait you're for me to go it. first. Yeah, you do. I mean, Please, I'd like. I'd it was like to desperate. Do it. Was it today? It was about eleven o'clock today, wasn't it? I tried. I held out as long as I could just to say, <laughs> uh, Am I, uh, "Have I got the gig?" And so, yeah, what a cracking day it is for rugby. Making his Spacequake Sports debut, TJ Moala Eval, and that—that's <laughs> the only time I have to say it. I, your mum spent ages teaching me how to say that, and we got there, and that's the only time I have to say it. Pictures are absolutely wonderful today. Uh, just behind the drone, just uh, not too far away from the drone. This is the uh, redevelopment of Tregrenzo Oval that is happening, um, which is absolutely wonderful. We will put in a word for uh, a proper um, commentary position. Hopefully when this, whatever, the extension goes up, we'd like tea and coffee facilities and warm and central heating yeah, and little, stuff like that. A little bubble bar for our feet, yeah, something like that. Yeah, I mean, it's, all, like that. it's all possible. Stuff like that is absolutely perfect. Um, but Green Hill Road, not too far away, and we coined this the Battle of Green Hill Road. Uh, but today has all sorts of stuff. You were talking about it, TJ. All sorts of stuff. Uh, Old Collegian's fourth, but only on points difference. Same points um, as South, I think. South are in third, so... Uh, South or Onkers? Let's have a look. South, and South third. are in third. Onkers out the four at the moment. Two points behind Burnside, who incidentally have a game in hand as well. Um, Brighton running away with it, 11 points yep. ahead of Burnside at the moment. Kind of feels like we'll forget Brighton right now. We're in round eight. I can't see them losing the amount of games yep. that they're going to lose for anybody to overtake them as minor premiers. So the race really is for that double chance final. For that second spot. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. And that second and, spot is, and, is, is all you need. I mean, whether you're when, one or two in the end, yeah, it doesn't make when, that much difference for a home game. When you look at that, if, if Burnside lose today, they'll stay on 23 and they'll get leapfrogged by old collegians depending on bonus points etc um but 23 points second 21 points third 21 points fourth 18 points fifth 16 points sixth 15 points seventh i i've <laughs> been around rugby union in south australia for a while and at this point in the season at round eight in the season yep. it's never been like this never been this close so basically two to seven can get a finals berth this year as old collegians come out. This year, I think, has been one of the most intriguing as far as rugby goes, TJ. For sure, for sure. No, just the competitiveness all round is um, probably the most interesting thing. And looking over the table just there, how close it is, um, it, it speaks for itself, really, and how important each game and each round is becoming. I tell you what's really interesting is six of Woodville. Uh, on 16 points in seventh or Elizabeth on 15 points. Elizabeth with a points difference of plus 14. Eliz uh, Woodville with a difference of minus 111. So Woodville, it, Elizabeth are in a really strong position from a points difference point of view when it's that close, which is really nice. So we are looking to get ready to kick off and we'll go through some team news when we get a chance to go through it. Uh, the man in the middle today is Mr. Gunning. Already gave out a red business card to a Burnside player a couple of weeks ago. Uh, did make sure that it wasn't just a double yellow for offside. It was, it was definitely naughtiness. Uh, and Mr. Stein and Mr. Jones will be assisting him today. So we are underway. We're a little bit later than normal. There was an ambulance called in the women's game, I think. Um, That's right. All reports are she's doing okay. So nothing for us to worry about. And uh, Burnside get their own kickoff and are off and running. Burnside, of course, this year coached by Tom Hankey, which is why he's not with us in the booth this year. And they are away and running. Alistair Hamilton stepping back into that number 10 role. Eliepa steps out to the 10. And they are away. Just trying to find some room on that far side. Delaney just left behind and turned over, but the knock-on was from Old Cole, so it'll be a Burnside scrum. Just interesting news from an Old Cole's point of view. Obviously, two big outs for them, who really would be in, because they're not out through injury, is Stuart Nott, who's farming, and uh, yep. Alex Rockaborough, Buller, who is uh, stuck in Melbourne. Tasmania, actually. It, Tassie? He's, he's ended up in Tassie. He's, he's trying to uh, circumnavigate, I think, the... <laughs> 
<laughs> the, the lockdown. He's, he's in Tassie, but because he was in Melbourne now, he can't. Uh, he's got to spend his time there, which all accounts he's having a lovely time surfing the chilly, icy waters of Tassie. So Walton at the back will give it to Delaney, and that's gone forward. Be interesting to see whether that's a penalty or just the scrum. Lucky to get away with Jaws that. given the scrum. Really lucky. See, this is what I like. I like how people go the other way, saying that Burnside were lucky. <laughs> so I'll be honest. <laughs> I mean, that was, you know, that is offside. And TJ, I noticed his Sandbrook out today. No, he's playing. He has quite okay, possibly yeah, the worst the, uh, haircut uh, I've seen in oh, a while. Right, if you can't spot the mullet from here. He, oh, right. Yeah, it's awful. It is absolutely terrible. I'm sure we'll see it throughout the day. So Old Collegian's first set piece and first time, really, that they're going to get hands on the ball. Good Burnside scrum. Big scrum. Solid. They're going yep, to look to this near yep. side and they've got enough and start. they've got the knock on at the back. Burnside have come to play. Really interesting watching both teams warm up. They are eerily similar in how they warm up and the way that they warm up and the way that the coaches deal with the players. I think, um, you know, I'm not sure if you'll agree, TJ, but I almost, I've been watching the, we had Friday night rugby here. Uh, we had all day today and we, we're very closely matched. Almost all the way through, all, all grades. Yeah. yeah, it's. I think the reserve great styles. game was a little bit of a blowout, but looking at the unavailable list, you can see why. Mm. But in terms of you know, coaching styles and the type of rugby we want to play, it's, it's very similar, I think. Ormsby sends it out wide to Sadler to Kitts, oh. uh, who's dropped it. I mean, it's an absolutely perfect day for rugby. The only thing mm. you would say is the sun is going down. It is only going to be an issue if you're attacking the left of the screen. But um, you look at this backslide at the moment. McDonough and uh, Coots are on the wings. Ormsby at 10 and a centre, par centre partnership of Bartlett and Sadler. It, you, you can't, you know, it's a very you can't attacking, ask for much yeah. more. Uh, and good seeing Sadler moving in a bit closer to the action. I mean, it's, a guy that is you know, want, get get his hands on the ball as much as possible. It, 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 you've almost got two 10-12 combinations out there. Free kick yeah. for the early drive. Walton will pick and go. A name that we haven't called in anger for a couple of years. Certainly likes to hear it, get his voice heard in the comments. There is Sambrook just rolling off the side. Delaney again will come near side. All been played in this sort of area in the opening stanza. Got that. He's uh, working hard to prove that he's stuck in there. His hose good. Another big midfield challenge. Delaney again to Walton. He'll pull it out the back. It'll be a long afternoon if Old Coles can't get hands on the ball. Delaney to Sambrook. Short ball to Brown. Brown gets it away one handed. To, I think that's Cameron Green. Good defence otherwise from Collegians. Sudden yeah. work from both sides, I think. Mm. I mean, it, it would literally just reaching five minutes on the Wojtek scoreboard, so uh, very difficult to see any level of possession for all Collegians. Now they're away. And have they turned another one over? Oh, no, penalty for offside. I thought they turned another one offside, over. Offside, a chance for Collegians to clear their line. Rob Smedley does still have a full head of hair, and it's lustrous in its mahogany colour. <laughs> so that one oh, will it's find one its way into the building side. Oh, First one of the day. Into the building side. I don't know how we get them back. <laughs> no idea. No there idea. is nobody in there, obviously, there for is. health and safety reasons. But just gone five minutes and Old Collegian's not had much of the ball. And we're down one football. Big, Good long man. throw to the back. Good ball off the back to the big red, Jess Graham. Bartlett has a look. There's a suspicion of high there. Playing on, though. Well, I think Mr Gunning needs to get his whistle on that early. And they are away on that far side to McDonough. McDonough looks to step back inside to the safety. High. Does get back inside. Yep. There's the second high one. Mr Gunning for mine. And again, do you know what? It feels like it's been longer than five minutes, but it's only been the five minutes. Mr. Gunning really needs to take control of the back of that rock. Both sides, very lazy getting Slide. out the back yeah, of it. Yeah, it is. It is very, slow. very lazy. And that's all a lot of the new rules coming in around rolling away. Because you can't ruck now, unfortunately. Um, <laughs> it, was such a, it, it got you out of the way quick. 
Especially, and then TJ. Like, especially trying to play like a fast paced game. I don't think you've yeah. ever, have you ever really played you in the. Did you ever play in the. I don't the, think the you ever did days. play in the bad old no, no, days, no, 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 did no. TJ? No. You used to go into the changing room after the game and count your number 11s. If you got attacked by Wolverine. They're away again. The mall has gone to ground. So that's going to be a Burnside ball. If it can't come out, it is out. Ormsby attacks the line, takes on Hamilton. Hamilton just about gets hold of him. Does well, keeps the inside defence committed. Big pressure. Now it's Burnside's turn to make the tackles when needed. Merrin will look for a little bit of room, can't find any. Out to Graham. The big fella's working hard in short distance at the moment. Another pick and drive. This time Ryan will rumble towards the line. Doesn't quite get there. They'll go again. Merrin trying to direct traffic. Change at the back. Short ball again. That's Bartlett inside all of that mess. They are within the five. Now they're over the line and it's held up. Who's it who comes up last? It's... Uh, I don't think it was Bartlett, was it? No, it was uh, Hugh Scott, a New South Wales country boy, who's um, joined from Harry Hosegood, brought him down. They get on like a house on fire, those two. We have no idea what they're talking about. But, um, <laughs> there is an injury. There's yeah. a player down. I think it's... Tyler, uh, Tyler Ryan. It is Ryan, the number one. Now, on the bench, interestingly enough, is Bradley Killick. And I think it's his first game back since the injury that we saw against Onkaparinga. In the grand, fi in the grand final. It was the yep. grand final, wasn't yep. it? Here he comes and he's warming up. So yeah, the here he comes, mustard. look. The crowd's getting I've, excited. We've had a word with the script writers. His dad is actually just sat to the right of us. I think he's in charge mm. of the scoreboard. Uh, he's <laughs> so a very nervous old man. <laughs> Way too well, right? Doesn't really want to watch. But... Uh, how was that? I think it, because I spoke to him, uh, I spoke to him before the game, and he said, oh yeah, just 10 minutes at the end will do me. It's my first game back. Here he is, being injected in with eight minutes on the clock. Is he indeed? So it was held up, so it's going to be a... Uh, An early on. That's very Bradley early. Killick is in. I mean, at least he's getting the boots on the camera. Maybe we could pass to his dad for some special mention. Of I know, right. Just how did his recovery go? Is he match fit? <laughs> He's shaking his head. <laughs> He's done it. Oh, he is going to come in. So I spoke to I spoke to Bradley this morning, and uh, he said, uh, "This is Chris Killick, by the way, Bradley's dad." Hey, I spoke to him this morning, and he said he was looking forward to just five minutes at the end. The yeah, uh, front uh, row has gone absolutely upright for all collegians, but they've still got the ball. Merrin trying to find a way through. Can't quite find a way through. Going to rebuild from then. Inside the five again. Big defence needed from the boys in hit. blue. Happy to go slow at the moment, all collegians. Here is Killick at the back. His first action is going to be to assist the pick and drive. They'll go again. It seems that they made a very conscious decision. There's possibly hands in there from a Burnside player. Now they're going to try and get away. Mer uh, Merrin tried to get the ball away. Couldn't quite get it away. Ormsby will step in the back. Bartlett takes on Brown. Gets rid of Brown. Then enveloped by a load of double blue jerseys. They are still within the five. Old Collegians continue to knock on the door. Killick will take on Brown. Little bit isolated, looking for hands on. Now they will come again to Robertson. They've been driven backwards, old collegians. Merrin sends it into midfield again, just trying to change the angle of attack. Burnside have done very, very well. Driven them back into halfway between the 22. Ormsby puts the ball on the deck. Eliippa is there. Eliippa will be tackled out the back. So it will go for a 22. Chris Killick gave up. I, I got a feeling today it's not going to be one where we get to do stuff like that. No, we didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we're going to have a it, huge amount of downtime today. We did not. Uh, interesting option there, but just it just shows great defence from Burnside. They old legions ran out of other options, but then trying to slide one through. And we've 22 clear. goes early, and Ormsby will just hoist it into midfield. Well taken. 
And now great field position for Burnside. Oh, Marin very nearly got hands on. It feels like a bit part character from Lord of the Rings. Sambrook gets the offload away. We'll find Loftus. Delaney. Out to that far side they go. Step back inside from Rahui. Walton, short ball again. Can't beat the clean up from Walton. Hamilton. Oh, oh wow. big hit. Beautiful hit. And Andrew the knock Burgess. on. First well, time putting the number eight jersey on, and he's owning it. Yeah, and uh, if we see a replay, TJ, oh, it's count high. the arms. It's lofty. Count the arms. There he is. Oh, he's had a oh, he's had a go. go. I think that's he's, had a, he's had a try yeah. at least. I think he held his hand while he went onto the ground. A little. <laughs> <laughs> when the impact's at that pace, it's pretty hard to wrap the arms. To be honest, yeah. Free, oh, look, yep. coming from someone who likes a big hit. Gone, gone, <laughs> yeah, yeah, gone yeah, with yeah. the Tyrone to Pio. <laughs> Sometimes you got to catch him after Excuse. the hit. Uh, yep. Yeah. So it'll be yeah, a scrum to Old Collegians. It's been a really interesting start. We are still nil nil. Been a great game of rugby though. I think Gunny's done well with controlling the scrum at, uh, at the moment. Well, Last one. Yeah, well, we do. Uh, we have a front row. It's always nice to have a front row in the booth because Crossy and I have got absolutely no clue what goes on in there. Yep. Yep. We had Liam Smith last week, but he wouldn't let any secrets go. So we'll uh, ply you with coffee and tea, and hopefully you'll <laughs> tell us stuff. Does settle down and. Old Coles really are on the back foot in all of these scrums. It's going to have to see quick ball at the back. Sadler gets his arms load. free. Bartlett to McDonough. McDonough now looking for support. Has the support outside him. Great covering tackle came across. Ball comes out and Fraser Green just hacks it away. And it, it's, it's been helter-skelter at times. It's been slow and ponderous at times. It's had everything in the opening 13 minutes, this one. Yeah, it's got out to Litchfield there, who looks like he's injured his hamstring. And he, last time he played, first grade, injured his hamstring, scoring a try, and he's gone down here. He has been a so while. This, I'm just having a look uh, he's for the... Just wait, he's spent a long time on the sideline with a hammy injury. I'm just having a look at oh, Bell Villion. And I think the last time we saw Roll Coles, the same happened then, didn't it, with Ben Villion? Like, he just played a full game. Yep. And, and was there as a... Straight on. There as um, help. V South. Yeah. And it, it looks like it's, it could happen to him again. Looks, that's not a, yeah, no, oh, he's done. Disappointing. So that's Litchfield who's gone. So Ben Villian, again, yeah, is going to play a full game of reserves and then find himself thrust into the action in the early minutes. Like, in amateur sports, it's wonderful bang for buck. You know, you register to play, <laughs> it costs 400 he's, odd bucks. I tell you what, he has extra had, rugby. He's had more value yeah. for money this year than any. It's terrific. It should be, a, be excited. You know? should be a, a, an award category for that. Yeah. Most economical Most player. <laughs> Minutes on the paddock. Orms beats a Bartlett. Short ball. To his mate Burjo. Out the back to McDonough. McDonough trying to find a way through. Can't find a way through. Gets the offload to, Mc, uh, to Ormsby. Ormsby will roll over the top. Burnside happy to let that one go. Hose good. And that's what we're talking about, just how slow they are to move away yep. from the back of that rock. Inside ball. Scott. We'll find Scott. Scott will get some extra yardage. Into the Burnside half they go. Right Graham out. absolutely met. And that's Callum Walton who's done the meeting. Sensible boy, Callum Walton. We'll get to that if we can. Again, tackle behind the gain line. It's... The line yep. speed from Burnside has been impressive today. Far side they will go to Robertson. Loud blast and another high one. Just if Burnside fix that discipline because otherwise uh, old collegians are really lacking an answer yeah, for how they're the going to crack only, through. The only time that they they've... lost five metres yeah. off that num number of phases. The only time they've really had possession is from mm. turnovers through yep. penalties. The scrum. And so now they march downfield with you know, 20 odd metres, and that's the only way they're really getting those metres. I think the scrum is going to cause them some big mm. issues. And lazy one from Eliippa. I can say that because I don't play anymore, TJ. <laughs> yeah. 
Looked like he tried to hold him up, but just got caught in the wrong spot there. Good lineup. Oh, Missed really the ball. Bartlett has to pick off his toes. Big strong run towards the 22. Well, with it as well. Well, they've decided to switch back the other way to Kuta. Kuta will send it well done. outside. Killick. Yep. Script writers are having an absolute field day with that young man. <laughs> Kuta again. Could step you in a phone box, Kuta. Couldn't get away that time. Ormsby just lost his footing somewhat. Has to just take it and recycle. Back to the slow ball. Graham, oh, arm comes out. Turnover. We've got the first coast. And the forward pass means that's all we're going to get. Oh, interesting not to see what happened there. I yeah. think there was a forward pass in midfield that, meant that Mr. Gunning would have to bring it back. Is that just, yeah, he's lost it. The big red going forward. But you would say that Burnside are absolutely can do what they want at scrum time. Yeah, you'll see. Uh, I mean, as a as a back, I'll let uh, yeah. TJ do this. But <laughs> I see I see the old Coles forward pack popping up and then driving through. That's my uh, expertise there coming through. Yeah, what? It, it's hard to make any calls at the moment, though. Like definitely a dominant scrum from Burnside, but in terms of controlling it from a referee standpoint, there's nothing to call at the moment. And he's done well not to call anything. I Just because players see. are popping up doesn't mean necessarily it's because. Um, yes, there, you, I mean, goes down on the opposite side of it, and I think who's that prop over there? It's here's young Mr. Killick again. Um, I think uh, Louis Fagan's going to have a field day with any prop, to be honest. Um, very experienced, very good technically. So it's, yeah, got, it's so definitely going to be a battle of the tight head of Burnside versus the loose head of um, Old Coles. So a Burnside scrum inside their own 22. So like exit play is on if they want it. The uh, Old Coles front row is under a huge amount of pressure. Just having a look as well. They are missing Tim Dawes. I think he's gone to a wedding, which is absolutely unforgivable in rugby season. Yeah, sacrilegious behaviour. I mean, we're, we're about... Um, two years away from when I proposed to my lovely wife and uh, the day I proposed they said you have between October and February that's, find your date in there yep. <laughs> <laughs> Burnside just looking to find a little bit of extra room Watson trying to find a way forward then they'll go back to Hamilton who lets it go Robertson nearly got hands on McDonough has got yeah, it it hasn't going. gone out Ormsby was set back at fullback. Now they can spread to this near side. Kuta, Villion, Villion. Oh, oh, trying to find Sadler. Oh, that'll be interesting. 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 It's, he's gone the penalty. And that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, it's not sevens. <laughs> it's an automatic red card, I think, in sevens. Yeah, it is. Well, it's interesting that they often uh, review these now to see the cover defence coming across behind. I don't know if we'll get to see. And if if there, there was not. There was absolutely not. There is, and if there's it's, not it's cover, a, I mean, and and there isn't cover. It's Rob Sadler. Yeah. So, with with all due respect to the Burnside defence, you Don't would say nine him. times out of ten, mm. Rob Sadler will score that. Yep. And that's where they base the cards on now. Of the or the penalty try, sorry. Well, off the back of if, the there's, if there's yeah. cover defence or not. It's a really interesting one. Penalty tries. And try has to have definitely been scored. Mm. So, 20 minutes gone on the Voitech scoreboard and we could break the deadlock. Looks good. It's good. It is good. So three points will go on the board for our collegians. And I realise again, I've been calling him Rob Sadler all game, which is his dad. That is Will Sadler. It is Will Sadler. But, uh, do it constantly. I'm getting old. <laughs> well, he's actually, uh, he is Rob Sadler. But he, 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 oh, there's, he, there is he, one he, he coming across. Yeah, we will take that one. You could ask him about the whole Rob Sadler, Will Sadler thing. <laughs> we'll 
was uh, wasn't he? Isn't he actually by called birth, Rob? By birth, Rob yeah. Sadler. See, I knew and he that. Went, and he went, settle down, Dad, and called himself Will Sadler. <laughs> Good take from Hosegood. Howlett. Just trying to find a way through. Can't find a way through. Managed to get away from the tackler, which will allow them quicker ball if they want it. Sadler. Just in front of Kutzer. McDonough has to do the hard yards and get down on it, but it's gone forward. And they are shooting themselves in the foot yeah, at the moment, Old Collegians. Absolutely. The, you know, the, you've had a good carry with Howlett there off the kickoff, and then you clear your lines. You bang well, it back down. It looks down like and both teams want to. I, I think mm. what's happened is, is both teams have obviously got together before the game and they said, We want to hear Crossy's legendary catchphrase. Coast to coast, Tate is a toast. <laughs> I, I want to say it, I want to see it. And I pull you up often, Dave, because it's not quite, you know, it's not quite the length of the field. It's, it's missing some toast. <laughs> I, if you want me to say it when it's a half, halfway break. It's just, <laughs> I've heard somebody had a halfway break yeah, today and then ran not, out of fuel. At least within the 22 it needs to happen. Oh, right, OK. So another strong scrum from Burnside. Very strong scrum. Hamilton inside oh, ball. Well met. Well defended. Yeah, Ormsby again. I'll be interested to see that one again in slow motion. At full speed, it looked iffy. And they will come to this near side. Just the handoff to Walton. Walton is dragged down. That's the five metre line you can see. Now they will head down and just aim for slow again to get out that tackle position. Happy to just try and find a way back in. <laughs> Ellie Ipper will stand at first receiver, something he's happy to do. Watson, very, very close. Not quite there, though. Counter -ruck Turned over. Kicked away, but it's going to sit oh, up. McDonough geez. has to work hard to prevent that Jeez. coming back. Rahui beats the first one, can't beat the second one. Hands on almost from Sadler. Sambrook. Big strong run again. Scott met him. Got it. He's asking for it. He's over the line. He's thrown the ball up. He's going to speak to the uh, assistant referee on that far side. Problem is, from this angle and with the light, I couldn't even see the line. I just saw the outstretched arm. And was Try like, given. Oh, wow. <laughs> Now, he did well with that. <laughs> yeah, great sustained attack and then a, a poor clearance from collisions and then straight back onto the attack. And in the end, it's probably got around 10 phases worth and that, you get the points. Great carry by Sandbrook here to keep fighting through the contact. Bit of mullet power. It's a oh, time. What's that, two, three? Yeah. Does he manage to roll away and keep his feet and get there and reach out? That's incredible work yeah, from Kieran really Sandbrook. Cool. There's a real changing of the guard at Burnside at the moment, isn't there? I was looking at that reserve grade bench today, obviously towards the end of the reserve grade game, and on that bench was um, Callum Walton and... Um, Chris Walton. Chris Walton, yep. sorry, Callum's out there playing. And um, Blair Marshall. Blair Marshall was well, on the bench He played an entire well. game of third grade. And he played a game of third grade. So there's a real changing of the guard had to, there. Had to tackle him multiple times today on Mackard. <laughs> Kick well, is on the way. Mostly unsuccessful, but I gave it a crack multiple times. Ah, oh, the flags there, go up. That's a great kick Blair, from Blair Eli Upper. Eli Upper. Midfield. Is it the uh, famous Burnside don't train, don't play sort of thing coming in? I, th I think so, yeah. Mm. But I, I think it's there is the also... And the new boys coming through. Oh, no, he's all right, Lincoln. No, I, well, I, read, I just, well read. Yeah, right. great challenge. Trent. Trent, sorry, Lincoln is his brother. So another restart. It is a feather in old Collegian's cap, although Rockerborough is not doing the restarts today. That, that oh, was a great restart. Oh, he had footsteps, didn't he? <laughs> it's a good chance for old Coles to capitalise on this. Pardo tries to find a way through. Marion again. Finds Killick. Out to Ormsby, to Bartlett. Bartlett will pull it out the back to Kutzer. Kutzer will take three of them to bring him down. 
Oh, Collegian slow to come around the corner. Robertson oh, he's done gets it away to Villian. Villian comes off option. the legs off uh, Green this time. All perfectly legal. Ball was out oh. and Marin gets absolutely enveloped and by Sandbrook who's Turned stolen over. it. And then oh. Villian repays the favour. And hands on. Wow. Turnover <laughs> begets turnover. Oh. Ball penalty for sealing off. Both halfbacks in danger in that situation. Yeah, neither of them would have liked that, would they? <laughs> Big sweaty forwards touching you. But uh, <laughs> Phil, you're not a sweaty forward. Sweaty salad eater. So Ali Ipper will clear the lines. Good distance. And we're in the construction area again, so we're two footies down now. <laughs> That's a good job. Uh, you've got the grant, so you've got many of them sat in the changing room, where is you? <laughs> well played. <laughs> Absolutely. We have a factory making balls out the back. Just lost his feet, didn't he, Burdo? Good line out. Brown brings it down. I mean, driving more from there is optimistic, but, you know. Sandbrook is at the back. Time he will go off the side. He's such a big, strong runner. Howlett basically clung on like a toddler. Good contact again, and they are away with Delaney, who comes to this near side. Couple of bites at it. Inside ball to Brown. Little bit isolated. Can't quite yet. The, the, the help came enough. Well, you've got to ask the question. We'll come back to it if we can. Kutza sends it over the top. How's the bounce? Bounce is going to sit in front of Green. Got a late hit. A late hit. There is absolutely no way that Ellis was holding his weight in that last breakdown. If you're going to call it on one side, you have to call it on the other. Straight off his field, sealed it off. But I think on a game like this, where the pace is so, so fast. Mm. That's a good kick. We are going to see a lot more penalties than Dave Gunning gives. Yeah. I think. <laughs> yeah. Line out in a really good position for Old Coles, and their line out has been good. I mean, traditionally, the Old Cole line out has been very, very good. Set up here. Yeah. Ooh, oh, it's stolen. stolen. Commentator curse. Nobody sat in the pocket. They're going to go again. <laughs> Hamilton. So Ellie Ipper. Not really looking to clear the lines just yet, are they? Out into midfield to Watson. Still within the 22, so the exit is still there if they want it. Sambrock came on the long run. This time he meets Burgess. Still manages to get yards after contact, though. Then they will go far side to Eliepa. What can he do? Brought down again. Delaney has to quick feet, quick hands, and Ellis loses that one forward. Interesting. This is the same problem that Old Collegians faced of not clearing the lines. I don't understand why the, they're forcing that. No. The, you know, instead Burnside trying it for about four phases. Well, they literally showed in the same phase of play that they can take a line out against the head. <laughs> Get rid of it. And Get rid of it. Compete. Compete for the line out. Yeah. Exactly. 100%. Maybe it's the conditions yep. giving a bit of false confidence to the tackle players. It is a running pitch, yeah, yeah and you want to have a crack. And, and Burnside have always been uh, quite a good team to, to run out of their own 22. You know, sort of fake that wipers kick and have a go, but now you find yourself... The position Defending in your 22 going, maybe exactly. we should have kicked it. The position that they're in now is absolutely perfect for all collegians. With, you know, Hanks being a Northern Hemisphere boy, you would have thought mm. we would have seen some territory kicking. It's pure territory. Disturbs you greatly, Dave, doesn't it? I'm getting better. You know? I am getting better. It's, it's the Aussie rugby. We just like to run it out of everywhere. <laughs> Still one of those things that absolutely... And then when we're scored against, we go, we should have run it better. <laughs> <laughs> Drop it under your post. <laughs> oh well. Great scrum. Great scrum. Is he the oh, penalty? Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. oh, penalty. Well, there you go. For standing up. I, I don't. I think it's really difficult for uh, Mr. Howlett to stand up when his legs are three foot in the air. 
He's in trouble too, Nick Howler. I think he's, he's in pain. He's getting absolutely folded in half at every single Old Collegiate scrum. Pain, and I'm not sure who's on the bench to replace him. Connor Ryan, I think. Connor's well, he's Tyler, already Tyler, come Tyler, off, hasn't Tyler he? Tyler Ryan. Yeah, is there another Ryan? Off. There is another Ryan. We're breeding Ryans. Um, Kutzer. I didn't put it out. Counter attack is on its way. Kutzer will not get away from the first one. Brought down. Saladitas have to do the big boy work. They never enjoy that. Merrin to Bartlett. He's had a great carry in the start. First half. He's grown into that role of a carrying 12. Oh, Graham will oh. lose it. Walton Foot will hook it ahead. Walton, he oh. gets a foot to it again against. And oh, they've asked for it, but no, he's already given the 22. He's taken time off as well. I thought there was too much on that last kick, but it set up perfectly. It did, and Rahui, Rah I'm saying his name Rahui. Right? Rahui was absolutely rapid. Walton shot. Just watch him lean well. into Ormsby there. <laughs> Can we? Oh, it's hard to see. Rahui does the right thing and appeals for it. That. Hard pressed to appeal that. <laughs> Holmes, he's got the ball under his chest. <laughs> I got a finger in there just before it happened. Hey, sometimes yeah. you can sell it, can't yeah. you? And Howlett is coming off. Uncle Paringa got one, so Howlett is off. So, what are they going to do to change? Have they got anyone else in the pack? Yeah, Ormsby gets there first quite easily. Have you got anyone else in the pack you can go to? I oh, know there's your big fella coming on. Yeah, he'd probably be a shift around in the front row. Um, and that is uh, Will, who um, Mark Check um, is, and he was he's part of the coaching crew. Uh, he was a se second grade coach last year, and I don't know if I've ever seen him play. Oh, right. that's some hard running. So, so we know nothing so about much, him. No, uh, he played in Queensland. Um, yeah. He played a couple of years above me played, in juniors. He, pretty decent player. And, yeah, decent player. Yeah. Um, uh, some South or Woodville. Um, I think he used to play back for Neds, like way Neds, back. Neds, yeah, 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 yeah. Like in juniors. Yep. Um, haven't actually seen him play in senior rugby. They're away again on that far side. The ball will just bounce up to Rahui, who's certainly shown that he's got the pace. It's going to be a wonderful battle between Rahui and uh, McDonough. Gone backwards, so it's all good so far. Brown into midfield. Big hard That's running again. Ormsby here. tries to get hands on, loses his feet. Arms out for something. Play on. Delaney. Eliippa. That's the support from Walton, but Bartlett's managed to get himself in a position. How well is he Mall's called the mall? He was calling it really early, Mr. Gunny. But he's let that one go. Brown. Oh. He's lost that one forward. Robertson gets it. Ragdolled somewhat as he. Uh, Collected it, and the exit play gets there. And Sadler, probably one of the most mature players out there at the moment, just clears it. Is that touched by a burnt player? This is nice little Well, he's given it to here. the way he's it holding was. his flag. It must have been. Kira Brown, I want that one back. Let's see yeah. what Collegians do here. <laughs> Whether there's exit play, it should now go back to a kicker. Yeah, well, Sadler is sat deep Otherwise, in the pocket. Yeah. Goes to Ormsby, though. Good beat, that's is it going to go? Not it's out. not going to go. Green will find Green. Back to Green. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Steps out of Ormsby. Villian manages to get back. Delaney. Into midfield to Hamilton. Hamilton that's puts good. the ball to boot. It's going to test McDonough. Does very, very well, McDonough. The uh, post-catch mark call, as per usual. From, That's uh, the only cool way to do it these days. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Oh. Another one not found. Wonky torpedo. Uh, good oh, defence from McDonough. Oh, well, he's done it. Is he, is he in touch before he threw that? Oh, McDonough's on out. Oh, hey, Will Marchek having a crack. Well, it's a good start for the young man. 
counter rook comes, he's not going to get there. Merrin into oh, midfield. The Another loose pass. Bartlett has to tidy it up and does well. Don't. Khalid's I think he's clear. not. Yeah, they're just not tidy enough oh. in midfield at the moment. And another one. Ugly rugby. And a knock on. It's. And I tell you what, the sun is about to drop away behind the houses behind us, and it's about to get chilly out there. Yeah, the jackets are on. The jackets are coming on. The jackets the are getting zipped on. up. <laughs> See you lads have a couple of coffees in front of you. Yeah. You, you weren't there when we put the order in. I'm sure you can sort that out there. I'm waiting for that opportunity, actually. Uh, well, we are very nearly at half time. That'd be a port. Oh, stop it. <laughs> Drink responsibly. Delaney will feed the scrum and they can do what they want. Walton to Delaney. Ooh. And speaking of not being tidy, puts Green on the back foot. Can't quite a get away, and again, slow from the back. Did he just sell some candy, big Colin? There's a little, chance. There's a little mini interchange from Walton and Brown. Delaney again to Hamilton. Loves to attack the line, the big fly half. I saw him four weeks ago, was playing third grade. It's In South Australia, you're only Doss two Hamilton. injuries away from... Uh, mm. Your A-grade berth, Sam Brock again will attract numerous red and blue shirts. He gets the ground again. Hamilton, inside ball to Walton. Walton, can he find a gap? Slippery, up towards the five. Don't tell the serious numbers out on the right. Well, they just mm -hmm. need to get it quickly. They do yep. get it. Oh, Delaney oh. burns them. Oh, in the video review, Delaney's going to have some questions to answer. Now they do go there, but old Coles had managed to sort themselves out. Watson tries to find a way through. A great face. Robertson has like hands that. on. Oh, he was given a long, long time to clean him out. They are getting closer and closer. They're in Sambrook Waters. Hamilton, Sean Paul will find Bird. Over. He's oh. over. Great Carbon pace. copy, the yeah. two front rowers. Well worked from Burnside there. Actually solid defence from Oakholes as well, but yeah. I think it's just... Well, it's phases, 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 phases. Staying build up and then punished for not clearing. You know? it's, it's a, it's a, it's a big a, ask to stop a front rower from three and a half metres. It's a replica of the earlier try, really. Yeah. If, you don't have to do anything magical, just, just keep the ball. Strong. Phases. Delaney gets out of jail somewhat. I think if they come away pointless from that point, Delaney would have a very angry Tom Hankey to deal with on Tuesday night. So if only you saw what I saw of the space that was there. <laughs> <laughs> we are approaching half time on the Voitech score, but this will blow the score out. It's been very, very close. You suggest that it's. it's uh, certainly wouldn't put your money on either one of these sides right now it's just in the background you can see the Piastonic which well first time first up. time playing each like other a, uh, this year um, generally we seem to match up much earlier in the season and by this stage we're playing each other for the second time so it's been a very interesting watching from a distance of, of each team looks like there's a stowaway in the Piastonic there's someone sat in it staying warm <laughs> over there Another restart. Very, very close to half time. Deep one on the head of Ellis. Robertson will make the tackle. Delaney again to Hamilton. Sambrook. Short ball to Brown. Question and forward. And there's the whistle that answers that question in the affirmative. You would think this would probably be last play of the, the half. And old collegians need something, but let's see whether our converted try for collegians it, will be a massive lift huge, going to the halftime. Huge. That's, that would be a huge momentum shift. So it'd be interesting to see. They've got a bit of space on the left and right. They've stacked the backs to the left, but um, the, the danger man Tristan Kuta is is on the right. <coughs> well, let's see whether bringing in the nomadic rugby player. 
has uh, shored up this old collegian scrum. A double green defence. Oh, it has. Short to time. We're point. coming this way. Marin. Kuta can't get away from Walton. Managed to get away from Green. A little bit groggy as he goes down. Hose good on this near side. Pick and drive. Uh, Peter just play at their own pace at the moment. Ormsby, short ball to Bartlett. Can't find a way through again. Manages to stay alive on the floor. Now they can go. Sadler. Ormsby has McDonough if he wants him. He wants him. He gets wow, him. Wow, what a wonderful oh. try from Collegians. <coughs> Whether we asked for a converted try. Will Sadler has his work cut out. I don't know, but the, the wind in the sails for Collegians here. Is that Fraser Green who's still struggling or is After he off? hard run no. from Kutza, I'm not Looks sure like who it is. Louis Fagan? It's certainly not. Fraser Green, he's up and about. Hands. Ormsby did really well just to commit just as long as he could. Yeah, Rahui as well. Waited as long as he possibly could. Great finish, Liam McDonough. Dave Webb dive, seal of approval. And that going into what I assume, I never know with the timing of these space break where half time is. And <laughs> well, it's red time, so it's because it's stopped, it's stopped clock in the middle. Okay. We are. It's like the good old days when it was just red time and you didn't know. <laughs> Taking all the mystery out of modern day rugby, the, these timekeepers who stop and start the clock on TV. Buzzers and hooters. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You don't know. There could be time, Pete. <laughs> it just adds to the drama. So Will Sadler out there on that far sideline. Good side for a right footer. Don't think there's a breath of wind around. Big kick. Aim it at the right post. Let the curl do the work. It's on its way. Has he got the distance? I think he has. Has he got the direction? No. no. Oh, still and going. We're going to go. Look at the watch, and we're playing more rugby. We are playing more rugby. <laughs> I don't recognise who. Who is? Who's down? Louis Fagan. It is Louis Fagan. Yeah. So that's another front rower. Looking away. At the bad evening side up the score. Bench. I think he's playing on. We are. We're playing some more rugby. There we go. We're yeah, enjoying it. Louis Fagan's up. Bonus rugby, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, don't go anywhere at halftime as well. We will have the My Money House raffle. Oh, is that a I'd like halftime, oh, that's please? That's number three. That is our yeah, like half like halftime. It is halftime. Um, ladies and gentlemen, we will take a very short break while we set up from the wonderful people who've been running our raffle every week. Uh, we'll be back with you shortly. We'll let uh, Pete and TJ go and refresh, and we'll be back with you very shortly. So welcome to halftime. We're on the uh, veranda up at Old Collegians, Fregenza Oval. I have Connor to my right and 
Jade, oh, this is like how many times we've been on the TV now, Jade? This is why you need to be mic'd up. I will get Jade to speak to us before the end of the year. It's going to happen. Um, we have this is full again. You guys do incredible work getting the tickets every week. Um, we have got some old Collegians players on the front, and I don't think either of them are playing today. In fact, Kyle has gone away. He's now playing in New South Wales. Can we change these pictures every week, Connor? Yeah. Let's, let, can we sort that out? Okay, Jade, do the honours. Let's go. Can you reach? I am in here this week, so this could be the most awkward draw ever. Let's have a look. Oh, it's not me. Um, Riley Gabriel from Wattle Park. Well done, Riley Gabriel. Monday, you generally get the money. You're going to have a wonderful midweek meal. Uh, I will give you the winner, Jade. Thank you very much. We'll see you next week. Uh, and thank you, Connor. Welcome to your first appearance. Give a wave. You say hello to your mum. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we'll take another break and we'll be back for half number two. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. The Adelaide Hills. God, we do. Li well, you were lucky enough to be born here. I quite. I take quite a lot of pride in the fact that I chose to come and live here. It is absolutely beautiful. Trigenza Oval, which, I have to be honest, is one of the few single pitch ovals. Yeah. Sort yeah. of left, isn't it? I mean, Crossy is, as per usual.
taking his sweet time. I mean, he's been he's been on the broadcast so many times. He's started diva behaviour now. You should have seen his rider that he gave to Rob Costanza before today. He wanted drinks at half time. He wanted warm drinks. He needed a jacket. Honestly, he's worse than Whitney Houston. I can say all of that because he's not here. <laughs> um, well, that's what we needed, really. We we're about to eight points to fourteen. The try just before half time has really set us up for a great second half. Walton Definitely. completely Definitely misjudges it. the flight. McDonough gets hands on. He's inside the 22. Good challenge from Rahui. They're away early. Robertson, inside ball. Now they'll just take their time with it. Ormsby again to Bartlett. Bartlett, who will always run at spaces. Another good Gets carry. brought down by Sandbrook eventually. Now they'll come near side. There's numbers on numbers on this near side. Graham slips away from one. Gets towards the five. That's about as far as they can go this time. Merrin again. Little bit isolated, and again, that line speed from Burnside. Really, really good. He'll slow it down again. Burgess just puts his head down and his bum up. Good counter. Very, very messy, whoever. It's good counter and sloppy ball. It's still there, Robertson. He's just going to go right back to the back of the rook. Ryan took a long time to get up. There's another Burnside player who's managed to find himself in an awkward position. Marin, oh, Trouble the there. gap opened up and he didn't see it. The arm has come out. Sadler. Penalty. Well, Crossy, you missed, you almost missed all of it. Helter Skelter. <laughs> Absolutely. Good cracking start to the half for all collegians. What are they going to do here? I mean, the, the line-out is very much an option here. Let's say a line-out and drive. Well, the last time we talked to Mop, they yep. just won yep, against the head. Yep. Their last scrum was pretty oh, solid as well. Might be having a crack. Yeah, having a shot. Oh, well, that's okay. Just, I, you know why I like it. Bonnie Meredith, did she play today? Yeah, she did. Had a cracker game as well. Just saying hello to a coach. As she said. <laughs> so Sadler will line up at goal. We'll put three points as the difference. If he can knock it over. Love watching Will Sadler kick. Great crisp action. Yeah, lucky to lucky to get a penalty out of this. Really, they looked in a spot above the collegians. Well, it came out earlier. Is it another high one? I didn't see a signal. But I mean, you you say that at least three or four of the breakdowns they're just not rolling away from the back. And right and uh, Bird put himself on the wrong side. They've got to be careful for man, especially in red zone, TJ. Yep. Well, some of those rucks as well, I think he could have called four or five penalties and like for yep. none because it was so scrappy, hey. probably was the decision. I love how Dave O'Gunning goes oh, about well it done. and lets it play. We'll come back to it, I think. Out the back to Ormsby. Much smarter rugby from Cleveland. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Beautiful kick as well. Green. Not much of an angle, so. Oh, he's tried to bend that. He's not managed it, though, so Ormsby will go to Kutza. I don't think Kutza's going to think about kicking it. He just wow. goes loud, Palo, fully depressed. Straight into the midfield, and they're away again. Graham! Learned from his earlier mistakes and certainly will not pass the ball again. Just dies with it, goes to ground. Marin again, short hands into Robertson. Been impressed with his work rate. Very much a, a kneel back kind of back rower. Bartlett to Sadler, a little bit of man and ball for Sadler. Got to work to get to ground and does. Ormsby will sit at the back. Merrin gets there eventually. Happy to go with the big boys Pardo. again. Pardo will try and find a way through. Good hands on it. Ellis did get hands on it. You can see, he thought he deserved something out of it. Burgess. That's Pepper, sorry. 
Oh, that's a big hit. Yeah, Watson coming in the too. side. No, nope. nope, they're okay. They're still going. Merritt. Sure, oh, ball. Beautiful. That's another big hit from Brown. Great hit. Marin, he will put the box kick in. Green has to come and get it. Good hands. Great he's hands away. from Green, and he's away. Throws it. Ooh. Speculatively inside, and now all Coles can go again. Better from Graham. Bartlett tucks it under his arm, takes on Another a couple. Another hit from Brown. Kiri Brown certainly coming to play as well. Killick from the back. Sadler. The old 360 then will put his head down and Sambrook again manages to get hands on in a tackle. He makes so many important tackles through the day. Robertson, oh, geez, for pound for pound he works hard. Yeah, They're it. away again. Loftus will come away with it. Oh. <laughs> this is, he's got to, to get control of it, otherwise this is going to get very mucky. Burnside have it. See it from old Coles again. Watson. Delaney to Hamilton. Probably shouldn't call Ooh. him. Up. Stolen. It is stolen. Great hands from Hosegood. Mucky at the back. Mm, Knocked not. on at the back. I mean, we probably shouldn't call Doss Hamilton a 5 8. We probably should call him a 7 seven eight. <laughs> Probably the biggest fly half I've seen yep. in a while. He's got the there goes uh, Big Red, flying high. And Nigel Lamsan hits the field. Into number eight for Callum, Callum Walton. Walton. Shaking his head as he goes off. I, I felt he was doing okay, mm. Callum. That is a massive hit from Kiri Brown. Had multiple turnovers in that section of play. We love it. But going back to that breakdown. Players are going to do it as long as they get away with it. It's just making it mucky. It's very interesting. Was, was this it forward? Or the, on the tackle. Oh, no, um, it's well backwards. He's up. Kind of testing the ball. So scrum down right in front of us. We get to see the, the, uh, the nomadic rugby player. The nomad on this near side. We get to see him go to work. Taking on uh, Louis Fagan. Marcek, yep. We're all not looking for him to play for a while. We've never I know, him, right? So I mean, look, so. he's let the cat out of the bag now, yeah. hasn't he? Mm. Well, it's, it's Good work with the bind there from Louis Fagan. Geez, he's right over him. the top of it. Uh, it would be interesting to see whether Mr. Gunning comes over this side now, whether that bind changes. Mm -hmm. Here we go. You called <laughs> it. <laughs> now we see whether the bind will now change. Mm. I mean, he was trying his hardest, the Nomad, to uh, keep his arm up and keep his side up, but too strong, Louis Fagan. Just need Mr. Gunning to move out of the way. I do not believe Will, here on this side, has played in maybe four years. Oh, well, that's, that's a hit. <laughs> that's a hit. <laughs> I mean... He's going to sleep well tonight. What happened well. to... What? And Nigel's away. Oh, oh Nigel! Oh, no, no. Oh. oh, he oh. let him go. Get out of free card. Oh, I tell you what, Nigel. It's always fun when we come to Jacenza Oval between these two teams. We are about the 12 month anniversary of the. Uh, it's a neighbourly dispute down here, isn't it? That's, the, uh, the try that never was. Yeah. Still pops up every now and again, the footage of that. Oh, the third grade. Yeah. <laughs> Don't start looking at more here. Well, I mean, I'm not a front row, but that certainly didn't look like a full arm bind from the Nomad. Very Brown, good very good. Well set. Well felt back row is now allowed really to get that dynamic line out. Question about a truck in a trailer, you can hear the groan. Ooh. Arm comes out. Burnside's right, penalty. Interesting. For, I'm not, uh, uh, unfortunately, for? I think just some players got stuck at the bottom of the wall yeah. there and just caused it to split off. Okay. I think um, David Gunning is taking a leaf out of some of our other referees' books and just making up his own signals. I've not seen that signal. It was a, um, well, he's doing that I way. I don't know if he's, he's pulling down there. or pointing <laughs> up. <laughs> I can't <laughs> tell. The reverse truck. Come on, David. I mean, I study the laws of rugby union for the signal so I can try and translate. 
Then they start making their own up. There was a complaint about truck and trailer as well, which was nearly there. Sambrook with the lineup, very strong Brown position. Again. Brown, oh, I tell you what, very oh, nearly. Sambrook on the ramp around. Sambrook takes on McDonough. Tell you what, try saver Liam. Back looking to go. Tries they are, are away and they are in this time, and it's Rahui. Look how happy he is about it. He's found the camera. Jeez. Ice in his veins. <laughs> We've got it all happening. Ladies and gentlemen, I absolutely love it. If you are watching this and uh, you want to decide on the try scoring celebration, go for your life. We've been trying for years. For years, it was only Tremaine Butler who gave oh, us anything. Found the camera. So what have we got here? A bit of a point to the... Well, the, the point into the arm is ice in the veins. Mm. And I think he threw up a heart as well. Look at him trying to get out the hugs because I want the camera. There it is. Love so heart. So what's the, that's the love heart and then ice Sheesh. in the veins. <laughs> <laughs> this is where the youth comes in, boys. I know. Uh, see. <laughs> yeah, but I was all over it, wasn't I? Yeah, I was actually surprised. <laughs> it was like your Kendrick Lamar reference last week as well. Oh, I, was, I was really yes. surprised with that one. Absolutely. <laughs> Gave him a bit of Kendrick Lamar. Driven through by Eliopa. Hey, I just look old. Can't <laughs> <laughs> keep your finger on the pulse of society. I was hoping, I was hoping you'd sing the lyric and stop halfway through it. <laughs> Never actually heard the song. <laughs> I could tell. <laughs> it's the Burnside push ahead, 21 11. Back and forth at the moment. Oh, yeah. Well, it's basically. And, and is Will Marchek, is he. I think he's, he's still just on the tired. Field. He's bloody he's tired. Do, he's doing the old yeah, Dean Richards. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you're, are you old enough to remember Dean Richards, the England number eight? No. He used to do this. Hang near the sideline? Yeah. I think it's pretty common for eights to still do that, no? Yeah. Let the big, let the salad eaters do the chasing. Well, he's found himself Ooh. in fullback, so. Mm, dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I thought the whistle came to the mouth then. I thought he wasn't going to get away with the uh, running into his own player, but he has. Hamilton. Behind his supporting player here is Lamsam. Steps back inside. Manages to shake away. Okay, there's no effort at all from... Is that Graham or Ho's good to move away? Oh, big hit from the Nomad. And hands on. Doesn't beat the clean out, though. Laws have changed, Will. <laughs> yeah, you can't referee that ruck right there. There's bodies everywhere. I mean, neither of them have... Yeah. There's no effort to move. Put both arms up. <laughs> Come on. Oh, there it is. There, oh, it, there is. it is. I found, to, found one. Oh, honestly. Sorry, I just, I'm getting a little bit of a soapbox on it today, but it's really frustrating because it slows the game down so much. And you're unable to ruck. So. Well, they don't get punished for it anymore, do they, other than penalties? Especially when both teams want to play at such a fast pace, it's so crucial to have that quick ball. Um, and I think it's stuffing up the running lines of the forward packs a little bit too, being on the back foot. Oh, that's fun timing. Break. And he's fallen down now, he needs to get out of the way. He needs to make an effort. And, he's, and, and he he's, just looks at him. <laughs> my hands are in the air, so yep. how would I? <laughs> my left ankle's trapped. Great line out again. Another more. Good They've defense well. from the old goals. They've got to move him backwards straight away. Sambrook, he will go again. Again, it takes oh, more than one. Harry. Hamilton, out the back to Rahui. Oh, he's found a gap. Gets away. Then just oh, the no middle. look at all. I mean, that's the impetuousness of youth, isn't it? <laughs> See you right? How many times did I tell you off for doing stuff like that? Never. Not <laughs> once. You were always I was a, never in a position to do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When, we, when we played touch, you were always the showman. Yeah, he slips oh, When you got the skills, Dave. <laughs> Just to check, they're both very evenly matched back lines. One today. of those that there, we There's not been any real clear line breaks through the backs. It's been a, a forward-dominated game, and at the moment, Burnside with the ascendancy. And we'll see in a scrum here... Is it going to be the old Collegians back line, uh, forward pack, sorry, being being driven? Well, we still get to watch our uh, battle between Will and Louie. It's a much stronger scrum. 
He did stand up early again. Sadler, Sadler to Kutza. Kutza gets it away to McDonough. McDonough's oh, found a gap. Nice. Can he get away from Green? Yes, he can. Oh. Bartlett went without it. Wonderful breakout from McDonough. He just probably needed to keep it under the wing and with so many players around him. Oh, again, we're, we're sort of, oh geez. <laughs> I'm just having a, try, having a look around the grounds and uh, I think we'll censor that one. Southern Suburbs at the moment, 29 points to 20 up over Uncle Paringa. That is a big, big result. Speaking of big results, we've got a final in from Wama Reserve. Port Adelaide get over the top of Elizabeth. Wow. 38 wow. points to 31. Wow. Uh, where we Huge. are here, 21 points to 11. Uh, Brighton taking on Adelaide University today and two points away from the ton. 98 points to 14 is your final down at Brighton Oval. So uh, not doing their points difference any harm at all. And Will. Will's done good to get under Louis Fagan. <laughs> I don't know how legal it is. But <laughs> I, 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 oh, well stolen. Jeez, oh. that's interesting. It was... Oh, what? It's the first time I've seen Nigel Again, Lansham be absolutely not, manhandled there. I'm not <laughs> entirely sure what that signal is. I just thought absolute manhandling here. He's rolled away. Next player what's, in. What's that? Mm, I feel that it's stolen. I, the ball on the grip? Well, yeah, Kira's, I guess so. But he's, like, did, he have it, did he have it? Did he have it as he was going down? Mm. Don't know. Is that out? Nope. Nope. McDonald will send it to Ormsby. Ormsby will look for territory and get good that's territory. Yeah. Another one in the building, building site. That's four. It's going to cost you a fortune in balls, this, Pete. That's a good job you've got good sponsors, no, just, isn't it? Just pay some kids to run around a building site and collect them for us. It's a great big hole to our left, isn't it? Oh, well, as long as you fill it with something. Mm. Sam Brook again, this time to Elliot great Burn. Great line, great speed. McDonough makes his tackle. Out to Hamilton. To Watson. Watson will find some space inside. Burgess gets him eventually. Hamilton again, short ball. Ormsby almost managed to steal it away. Athletic. Sam Brook comes back this side. Fred Samuel. Delaney to Lamsam. Oh, 57. Geez, he's finding people to run into. <laughs> Kiri Brown having a chat with the. Uh, oh, it's oh, intercepted. Oh, Ball into wall. Oh. There's a whistle. And Phil Jones on this near side had, was asking the question. The lights are on. I don't think the ladder would. Is the ladder over? No, the ladder hasn't updated yet. I'm just trying to look at what this does. So we know that South's won. <laughs> Watch the replay. So South's won. It's four points for a win at the moment, isn't it? Four points, yeah. So no arms and a penalty. So they would have got the as, better point with it. Having a shot. As we stand, South's have just... As we stand, Souths are in second because this one isn't finished. Burnside, if they win this one, will be able to go back over the top of Souths. Uh, Souths are back at their best this year. It's, it's terrific to see, actually. Really impressed. We, uh, a couple of weeks ago, played them. and um, Port pushed them for a yeah. fair amount of the game last week. And this is what I'm saying. I mean, we've had so many. And then the Elizabeth element as well. So playing playing high up, quality rugby. Paul getting up over the top of Elizabeth is mm. nothing to sniff at today. At Port, was it? Riverside? Adelaide? Wama. So Ali Ipper with the uh, kick at goal. Space Quake Sports bringing the goods. You don't even have to pay for a subscription to get it. Going to hit this, TJ. 
I'm not going to call it. Boys. Yes. Boys. Oh, Ooh, I tell you what. It looked nice for us. It looked great. It? I don't know whether we mm. got a replay from that angle, but it looked really good from where we were. Yeah, I wasn't calling that one. Don't want to put any influence on that. <laughs> <laughs> You've learned, TJ. <laughs> I've already learned with that line out before. Look, so. learned on, quick. on your yeah. debut. Yeah. Playing like an old hand. Who's good? Gets hands on. It is going to work back yeah, to right Killick. Good Ooh. collision between Killick and Brown. He's got that. Well, he's not on his feet, so he's got to let it go. Oh, God, it's Jesus. mucky. Wow. Wow. Well, okay. I mean, that We're is. Right. Well, welcome back to the 1980s, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Obviously, we hit 88 <laughs> miles an hour at some point. Ormsby oh, had to fire it, man and ball for Sadler. Great read there from Jared. He's Watson. not going to get down. They've got to get that back. They have to keep it moving to the point that Sadler can get it free. Oh, they almost have as well. Now they don't have to move. Yep. Burnside ball. Well done, Burnside. That's a great read, for, a read from Watson. If he doesn't make that tackle, there's three on one out on outside. the outside. Yep. Yep. Oh, yeah, and he's, he's got to Smart make that decision play. and go. Yeah. Yep. I mean, and they're the ones, if you miss it. That collapse more looked like most of the rocks. <laughs> it was... Shit. Honestly. Like, it, it was a turn back the clock. I expected the, <laughs> the double arm bind mountaineering to start, you know. <laughs> Retro rugby, ladies and gentlemen, on a Saturday afternoon. Oh, oh, Coles with a shove on. Wow. Oh, well, there's a change. Take a bow, Will. Eliippa tries to get around. Does get around the outside. Now he's away. Has Rahui on the outside. Oh, great defense. Really Still good well. tackle. It's going to be Huge interesting defense. where it was. Bartlett does get to ground. Hugh Scott has absolutely manhandled him. <laughs> the noise that you may have heard in the background actually came from old Collegians fans. So they weren't questioning the height. I think they just felt for uh, Eliupa. Not found touch again. Green gets away from Villian. Uh, found on oh, his face. Oh, now he presses nice. the loud pedal. He's going to get there. Uh, Cameron Green gets over the line. Burnside give themselves a little bit of a cushion. Geez, outstanding acceleration. There's a jink of a, there's a half, a half a tackle here, and he's just re-accelerated so quickly. See this? There's a break, a double break. You don't Very well see done. Liam McDonough miss many tackles, and here's the one coming across. And you Scott. <laughs> it's oh, perfect. Wow. Absolutely perfect. We got that. Do we get the try? There we go. Here we go. It's a great this catch over the top to of his head. Villian is over pursued. Great then a work. step away from Kutza. And then, and then it's just work through the gears. <clears throat> he makes everybody look slow. Oh, I think poor Ben Villian repeatedly being asked to do back to back oh, games. Yeah, yeah that's um, a big ass for Benny. Mm. That bonus rugby comes at a cost, you know? Oh, jeez, yes. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure he wouldn't have put his hand up to do it. Eliepa again, this time from the sideline. Not got the distance or the oh. direction. Oh, you're not Sorry. off the post, nice. though. Come and play with me tomorrow. So we have passed the hour mark. Sunset is absolutely gorgeous as well. The colours in the sky. High restart again. Lam Sam is underneath it. Ball will come back and just start to get the feeling that Burnside are hitting the straps and starting yep. to feel comfortable now. Brown gets the inside ball to Watson, gives it to Hamilton. Oh, that's very, very good from Graham. Penalty. Needed that, Collegians. 
That is, that's a crucial penalty to keep in the game. I just felt there was a flexing of muscles almost for Burnside. They just looked can, like they were settling yeah. into what they were doing and how they were going about their stuff. It's a bit like the end of that first half. Need to be a convert here. Need. If they don't get points in this venture down into the Burnside half, it's, it's probably all she wrote. But just time is going to get them. I, I mean, and you know what? And I know I've banged on about it a lot this year. Generally, every year's gone by, you probably would have looked at this and gone, oh, well, it's a loss. We'll sort it out in the postseason. Good steal. Hmm. Because the top four sitting up there. Now, if you're one of the top four, one of the big four. You can lose some games in the season. It doesn't really matter you, this you, year. You lose to the other three and you this, find yourself in the finals this year. No, there could be some. Oh, yeah, I tell you what, there's some confidence from old collegians. I did not think I would see that. I think that's done for closing the gap here at the lineup. I think any time you go outside, you can't go outside arm at all, can you? Or you can if you go up with two, can't you? Oh. Well the Kind of depends where the lifter's feet are. Like he's allowed to bend in and, and, so and get outside arm, but outside arm. But you can only go outside arm yeah. if you go up with both, I think. But that is some confidence mm. from old collegians because their scrum is last collegian scrums have been strong. <clears throat> they have been strong, and it's pretty hard. I think Will will be wearing neither one or three Marching. next week. Oh, he's got it's him again. Ugly. Oh, hooker though. Dang, it's out. Number eight probably wasn't expecting it. Ormsby to Bartlett. He's just head down, bum up in the midfield. <coughs> well, they will go to that far side. Oh, the kick. Risky Ricochets. Option. Still bouncing around. It's picked up by Watson. Burnside will go again with Sambrook working in that very narrow channel over there. Delaney into midfield. They're away again. Brown shows and goes. Delaney again. Hamilton. Eliepa. Oh. Hugh Scott again. Oh, renewing game. acquaintances, <laughs> Hugh Scott and Eliepa. That's great work. Oh, the country boys having a field day. <laughs> they, they, oh, they've gone the scrum again. I think he looked around. Oh, again on Eliepa. Yeah, he looked around for the uh, registration number of the truck, and I think when yeah. he realised it was you, Scott, again, there's a nice little thumbs up from Ellie Upper. He's a tough boy. What's his What's his heritage? Uh, Samoan Italian. Samoan and, and Italian. Bang! That is a just big hit. And then the dosey do. Yeah, and just at the end of it, you see it in a little bit of. Uh, yeah, that was me. And then you just see the little nod and the thumbs up at the end of it. The Samoans know hard rugby when they see it. So the collisions with the scrum again. 15 metres back from where the last one was. As a collegians fan, hopefully they just keep ball in hand, just build. Just a bit of a delay here. I'm just trying to see whether we can see why. Fetching one of the balls from the building side, I'd say. Possibly. Freddie Samuels on the field now as well. He's been on for a while. There is the, there's a number 10 warming up in the background for Burnside. Is that new boy Winston? I don't know, but again, the uh, the referee... Oh, oh Mr Delaney! Jeez, that worked for old He did very well for old Coles. Very lucky there, old Could Coles. we see another he'll John Mokomoko? <laughs> he'll regret that. He's... Father. <laughs> is he coming to play for us? <laughs> that was... Again, it's mucky, but it's going to get there. Marin. Oh, Bartlett. It, is, it will be cold out there now. Those fingers won't be working as well as they used to. Ormsby. Marin will get there. Didn't like his options outside, so went himself. Ormsby can sit back. Little pick and drive from the Nomad. Sadler to Kutza. Jeez, he threw it at Kutz's knees. He did very well. Penalty. And Sadler's away. Did well, Watson, to wait to the 10. Oh, That's yeah, a that very too. good turnover. Back-to-back -back penalties. Two halfbacks pretending to have a fight. 
I thought he did well there to get hands on that ball. <laughs> he did really well. Does he come around the side? I think so. It's through the gate. And there's no release. Oh, okay. Yeah. Has hold of the shirt all the way around. I was thinking it could be whether that uh, tackle was back 10. No, well, Watson did really well. There they go, the halfbacks. Oh, hey, let's, lovely. Pre- lovely. let's pretend to fight and the forwards will be impressed. <laughs> <laughs> so where are you going tonight after the game? How do you keep your boots so clean? <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you guys talk about? <laughs> <laughs> Had no clue. Yeah. Hard ball. They're now going to come off Good. the top into midfield. Ormsby. They miss out. Bartlett. Burgess. Big Burgess will work through the middle and Elliot are trying to repay the favour against the big boys, but there's penalty another again. penalty. Offside. Well, that's three very, very quickly. Burnside will just want to stem the tide of these at the moment. Ten minutes to go. There's time. Tap and go. They're away. Far side, he's missed oh. him. Kutu will get one. Fantastic. That's what they needed, and they needed it quickly. Oh, and, geez, didn't we see that down at South? That day, Dave, Kutu just, just, just individually, in nothing really on, just hit him for that big right foot step, and that's what you'll see here. He absolutely jams it in, and then has a great... Good reach as well. Yeah. And I tell you what, the uh, the Oak Allegiance T-boy was in starting blocks down here. <laughs> he was halfway out. <laughs> he was halfway out when the try was scored. Young Ivan Arnold. So he's... Well, you can't his call dad. him small anymore. He now, he's now taller no, no, than no. his mum, Ivan. <laughs> yeah. Carl is almost as tall as his dad. Absolutely. Hopefully I'll still be around when, when he's playing senior rugby. Oh, look, hopefully we'll sit back and watch him play on television. That's the, That's the plan. He's doing some work over in Victoria, isn't he? The Rebels are looking at mm, him. Yep. Yeah, he was doing a bit of almost FIFO-style rugby but also a um, very keen cricketer doing well. So it's going to be a bit of a choosing between sports, I think, for Carl Arnold. Kicks on its way. And Flags uh, stay down. Mm. So we are 10 points to difference. So now it's a big ask. I mean, it was two scores, whatever happened. They have to get two scores, convert one Let's of them, two and not concede. Yeah. So this restart for Old Collegians and Burnside is absolutely massive. Not I big. was about to say, well, it has to be. Get them as far away from your try line as you can possibly get them. Scott runs hard into midfield. Sorry, it was Burgess. And that's Scott. That's Scott. Good counter oh. rock, and it's out oh. and stolen. Hamilton. Does very well. Eliepa. Loftus. He's slowing it down here for us, Burnside. Well, oh, Ormsby. He's had a number of goes at that today, and this time he gets it. Turnover. Long way to go. They have to score quickly. Box kick. Will find space. How's the bounce? The bounce. Now he finds his way to Kuzi. He does find his way to McDonough. Good Fraser Green. Cameron Green has to come across and make the tackle. What's the signal? I say it's, it's an old cold ball. ball. Wow. Okay. Wow. Excellent. Look at this bounce. There's a tip off the back, and McDonough does what he does. It just backs himself. It's a good tackle from Cameron Green because I've seen them go high. Yeah, that's so in. that's in. That's out. That's out. Hands on from the Burnside player. The Graham at the back. Here. Off the Great top. Lineup. Ormsby into the middle to Sadler. Sadler will give it to Bartlett. Better Great from yards. Bartlett. This time he will get into the 22. Ormsby again, far side. Sadler steps back inside. Couple of Burnside players have to get him. Contorts himself to get backwards. Ormsby remains in at that uh, halfback position. Ball's there. Ormsby again. Short ball from Sadler. Sadler will go to halfback. He will look for a space. Can't find one. Delaney will manage to make the tackle. Robertson, head down, bum up again. Mucky again, but it's going to come back Old Collegians' yeah, way. Best control of the footy Old Collegians have showed of the whole game, I think. Graham. 
He will just take an extra, just look to speed it up a little bit. Merrin sends it out to Burgess, who lost it backwards, though. Nope. Oh, forward. Oh, wow. this. It was a bit wavy. It's a tough in the one, air, and I tell it? you what, Doss Hamilton, talk about decisions about line speed, TJ. If he missed that one. It, it's massive, but also Damn. being a bigger 10, I think that brings the confidence as well to come off your line and make a big oh. hit. And well, no hit required. No. A bit harsh on there's a rugby league knock on. <laughs> yeah, that did look a bit harsh, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> you look at the ball wrong in rugby league and <laughs> it's a scrum. <laughs> Last few scrums have been a bit a bit messy, so it'll be interesting to see this one coming up as well. well it's a big feather in the cap for Will Marsh. Ma Marshek. Mar I've no believe. idea. Will Marshek. He'll pull me out later. I'm probably absolutely missing it. But Marshek. There is the um, rugby ball Lewis. bounce. Bang. Oh, thank you. That's actually really good from Kutzer as well to get a hand on it and if take it away from Fraser Green. If there was another There's a pause here. Oh, we got changes. Who's? Uh, I think a, a number of players getting a bit of attention. It's been one of those games as well. Like, our collegians very nicely provided me with refreshments at halftime. I haven't been able to get anywhere near it. It's one of those games. So this is huge for our collegians. They put pressure on the last. Burnside scrum. It'd be interesting to see Burnside whether they just clear here or continue to try and do a double exit play like a first Great scrum from up. Burnside here. Yeah, I mean, he's doing everything he can, Will Marshak. Lamb Sam is gobbled up at the back. Delaney. And there it is, yeah, the yeah, first time today. Yeah. We've really seen it, but he's not. Oh, oh Liam McDonough. Oh, no. And he's been called. Oh, the moment. And it it so, was a bubbly kick. We are. Okay, so just, just to give you an idea, because you probably don't understand or be able to see it, the, there was a long, long discussion between the local residents and Old Collegians Rugby Club about putting lights here. Yep. As a result, they're fairly low. So that kick will have disappeared into the twilight for McDonough. So he would have had a very, very quick reaction time to actually yeah, get a hold low of it. And you hit, them at, you hit a kick at a certain height, and you have to look into the light yep. then. They are very low lights here. Gonna reset that one. And we talked about how big the last one was for all collegians. This one, even bigger. Time is ticking away. Mm. But remember, Pete, we've got the mystery of how long left. We don't we do. know. I'm yeah. relying the, today heavily the on the mystery. Yeah, the adrenaline can mm. go up. Mm -hmm. But another scrum for Burnside. That armchair ride that the number eight was getting in the first half has gone away for Burnside. We see an early shove from uh, Burnside. That time it's quick away. Out the back to Ellie Ipper. Ellie Ipper will send it over the top. It will bounce up nicely for Cameron Green. He tries to find a way through, can't get through. Sadler will make the challenge. Delaney will find Watson. Watson will meet Scott. Delaney has hands on again. Goes the far side and a little bit too far in front of Cameron Green. Ormsby oh, wants to go. Wants to, yep. Burnside very, did very well to get people into a line out area <laughs> at the very least. It's a tough ask for Collegians now. They, very, very, very tough. tough I don't need. remember that there's been a huge amount of stoppage. In the second there hasn't half. been a huge amount of stoppage and there hasn't been a, a huge amount of clean breaks and that's what's oh, it's over the top but it works and Scott what a game gets away having. from Sambrook brought down eventually by Hamilton he's been an absolute starring role in the middle oh McDonough this time he does pick it up and again he can't get away from one of the Green brothers gets it back inside and Kutzer will lose it forward and they're playing on that's not a bad kick from Green not going to find touch though, and they'll go back for that forward pass. I think. Yeah, I think it was a forward pass. It a forward pass, or did he just lose it? I'm going to say the Burnside scramble defence, really good. You know, you look at that, the chip over the top, which you know, fortunately fell into McDonough's hands, but still scrambled well. How's this pickup from McDonough? And 
Fraser Green this time gets him. Yeah, manages to keep the ball alive. And it's just this one tries to keep the hands free and it just comes off the head of somebody. <laughs> well, third time's a charm for old Coles in the scrums. No, I don't think so, Dave. I can't. <laughs> We've got. Burnside adjusted well off of. Look at the We've got angle. Hodgie, have we? Are we jumping in at nine. You look at the angle of uh, Marshek and or Marshek and what the angle mm -hmm. he oh. takes. The head pops up. Yeah, early. He's getting away with it a fair bit. With the f well, the, the, we've talked about it before. If Mr. Gunning stands over there, he'll get away with that all day. But um, I think Hamilton flat ball into midfield to Rahui, Eliepa on the wraparound, Cameron Green. Steps back right. inside. He just will not Great go footwork. down. Almost hands on. Lamsam into red time we go. Sambrook out the back. Burnside now just trying to take some sting out of this game. They want it to be boring from this point on. Surprising how expensive Burnside are actually playing, considering the score on in time. Well, uh, yeah, I mean, surprised the call hasn't gone out and just death by pick and drive, yeah. but they're still going. Maybe they're looking at, is there a bonus try on? Well, it could be coming. Is there, it would well, be a bonus point four. try, wouldn't it? No, well, it's only 26. Oh, yeah. So they could be looking for that bonus point try. Hamilton. Sambrook. Oh, They're away ball. again, Samuel, Samuel with the two on one to Green, oh. Green, three to beat, loses his foot and Kutas will get there. Oh. Graham comes across, we're still going. Into midfield. Great carry. Short ball, inside the five again. Inside. Hamilton has the inside runner, shows inside. Can't get there, couldn't get away from Burgess. Oh. Loopy pass. Eliepa will show and go. Still going. Lam Sam looks for his pick and drive. And his annual live stream try. Not quite today. Inside ball again. That's the try line there. Can't get there. Far side again. Now he will get there. Eliepa will get one. And that's the icing on the cake for Burnside. I think that is Fork well and truly inserted. Yep. We're actually playing for a cup today as well, the Eastern Suburbs Cup. So that'll be heading back north of Green Hill Road. How good is he? Look at big Freddie Samuel a couple of doing tackles. the front row, Union proud. Carry it like a loaf of bread, completes the two on one. And then the sniper gets Fraser Green. I thought he was going to go for that sunny bill there on the, <laughs> on the outside. Really? <laughs> I love that. Hey, every, every yard, yard, every every yard, yard counts. <laughs> little frog jump. Every yard counts. So old collegians, the record on the live stream this year is 0-3. Not good, no. It is not good. You'll be pleased when we're not bringing our camera truck to you. I can't imagine there's going to be much more time. And I think where you see Burnside oh, standing, that would suggest be, this could be the, the match, that I this believe, is it. So Burnside I, will yep. keep and consolidate their second position. Souths will consolidate their third position. Onka Paringa and uh, the battle's going to come down to fourth place between Onka Paringa and Old Coles, you would think. Yep. And can Elizabeth get in there and start to put the cat amongst the pigeons in there? And so well, too Well, they shocked Burnside, you know. Uh, maybe, they will maybe and a month ago. Well, Paul got over them, but this year, this week is their off week. They only get the fruit pickers every other week, and this is an off week. Right. Okay. They get them next week. This is the, okay. So it's 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 a very very interesting time where we are. It, it, to be honest, it's rugby is great. <laughs> it, it is, and what a great rugby game! That's a really back. good game of rugby. Uh, next week, Burnside take on Woodville at Parkinson. Onkers will take on Elizabeth with the fruit pickers. That'll be an interesting one. Adelaide University will face Souths, and all collegians have got Port Adelaide here. So, certainly not settled. We're certainly not set. Yeah. And to be honest, for the first time that I've been doing this, it's great to be able to say that. 
It was Burnside in reg time, but it's not as exciting as it has been in the past. Ladies and gentlemen, great rugby again. Cannot wait. Uh, I'm not available next week, unfortunately. We'll have to find somebody to come and step into my shoes. Uh, Crossy, you can go and do it if you want. I don't know where it is. <laughs> Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for choosing to spend your Saturday afternoon with us. If you watched us from Melbourne, keep your head up, keep strong. We are all thinking of you. Ladies and gentlemen, everybody else, thank you very much for joining us and good night.